I think one of the challenges is really just trying to gain credibility in the workplace. I wouldn't say that's as prevalent anymore, um, but the important part is showing that you know what you're talking about with examples and information to gain that credibility. So as a woman, one challenge I face is having a confidence gap or underestimating my skills or my expertise, especially in my early years. Okay. Uh, one thing I've uh, done uh, to bridge the confidence gap is to learn to believe in myself more. Uh, that also meant I had to step up, exert more effort, and study and do more. Okay. Um, but also, uh, I made sure to take time to celebrate my achievements and my milestones. With the rapid development of industry, a lot of new changes in this field, there is both a challenge and an opportunity. We need to spend more time on learning to adapt new and stay competitive. As a woman in tech, I believe there are several challenges and I encountered several of them as a younger self. Um, but I do think there are solutions or approaches to bridge that gap. Uh, one of that is ensuring that you educate yourself and I would say being educated breeds confidence uh, and to really feel confident in a male dominated field having the education, also, uh, you know, really going with a company that embraces diversity and uh, sponsors women, uh, like Stefanini, and uh, really also having a mentor or a role model in tech that can sponsor you if possible is really a great way to bridge some of those challenges in a career. When I first stepped into the tech industry, I myself even had a doubt. Am I able to do this job? Can I work as excellent as a man? And there is a stereotype that men is the majority in the tech industry. And I'm not 100% sure I can be quality treated. Another challenge for me is how to balance my family and my work. As you know, women always play a huge role in the family. But when I decided to work as staff nanny, I was men for it. Majority of my colleagues are actually women. They are smart, they are confident, and they are professional. I was like, why would I care so much? As long as I put all my dedication into it, I fight for what my patient at, the result will come even truly. Thanks for Stephanie's culture. I, it gave us a great platform so we can work as a team efficiently as well as my family's support so I can do what I like and balance up my family and my work. The tech industry is known to be a male-dominated industry. In fact, in the Philippines alone, there are about 42% female and 58% male so we can say um, we can say or talk about stereotypes gender biases lack of advancement and opportunities compared to the male counterpart and even work-life imbalance however personally I can say that I have overcome these challenges by simply working the best at what I can do and speaking out when I feel something is indifferent. I think I am lucky to be surrounded by co-workers and good managers who are very supportive of my role. Sometimes it's uh, challenging for us. There are a few challenges I have also faced. Uh, our IT industry, tech industry is very growing, rapidly growing industry, very agile, business demands changes from time to time. We have to cope up that uh, we have to be uh, available uh, according to the business need. 
sometimes it's difficult for me to have the work-life balance maintained, uh, to have your family needs served. So uh, for that, we have to accept our challenges and the issues that we faced. So for me, I, I accept those challenges and issues discussed with my leaders to for a solution and that works for me. As a woman in the tech industry, one common challenge which we come across and I have also come across is like gender bias in the workplace where I can get to see that my male counterparts having experience similar to me, same skill set and similar years of experience are being provided with uh, more important and prominent assignments that increases the visibility within their organization. Whereas being a woman, uh, we, we are being thought of like we manage multiple tasks like household, kids and office so maybe the thought process over here could be like uh, this woman could not dedicate sufficient time to such important assignments so like we would promote the male colleagues something like that works over here i believe this is actually something which reduces the employee morale uh, within stefanini i really feel valued not only as a uh, female but just as a leader. Um, currently, uh, as a senior leadership, reporting to the CEO, whose uh, direct reports half are women, 50% women. So we're, you know, I feel very uh, good about being there and having my voice heard. At Stephanie, I feel uh, our leadership is always there to hear and listen to you. That works for me. And whenever I have some issues and challenges, our leaders are listening to those issues and they are mentoring you, guiding you. So this is one of the, uh, I can say, wonderful thing I found in Stephanie. And I'm happy to be part of this and wishing you all happy women's day uh, i get to come across like a lot of best practices various teams which they adapt and implement not only within our organization but also uh, like in our peers organization so and i try to learn from them and it's not that i want to restrict those learning to myself i often share it with my team manager and i know my voice would be hard because that has been hard in the past so if i recommend i suggest something which is some uh, for the benefit of benefit benefit of my team or the larger organization it is definitely implemented and they, that thing which is getting implemented is actually your voice being heard by the organization so you don't feel to be left out or somebody like a one in the crowd and not making much impact in the organization you feel valued and that in turn i feel boosts your productivity and make you hard work more harder for the organization I feel very lucky to be surrounded by women as mentors. In fact, my manager really understands my position and is really supportive on all the things that I'm doing. So this network that I am in really gives me that strength and really makes me empowered. I think that's really the best. I think everyone at Stefanini is valued for what they bring to the table, regardless of age, sex, um, or any other factor. It's important to see that on the leadership team, we have a large number of females. And that just shows everyone that regardless of any factor, Stefanini will take a look at what you have, your experience, and what it is that you can help Stefanini with. I work at a service desk, technician. I feel happy and satisfied whenever I solve the issue for client. My superior also fully acknowledge what I do for the team. Not only because of that, but also I am the first line to face the clients, stands for Stefanini. I feel valued and proud to be a Stefanini. Okay. So since I've started uh, almost six years ago here in Stefanini, I've always felt uh, trust and respect from my peers and superiors um, in most meetings. Okay. 
Additionally, I feel and believe that the opinions and ideas I've shared throughout the years to provide an advantage or even a unique perspective um, in dealing and in solving um, several of the problems and situations that the organization is trying to handle. There are so many different things that can contribute to feeling valued at the step of need, including receiving the recognition and praise from the co-workers and my managers, and the company gives me uh, chances to make me grow and have a clear purpose and direction on the job. So at the same time, I will make the, um, the meaningful contributions to staff me. I truly believe Staff Mini has offered a great equality to all employees. I do have the confidence that I will get what I deserve. And my superior also cares us a lot, so I feel fully blessed. In my opinion, this is an era of equality, diversity, and inclusion. Women of all ages should open up, embrace themselves, and break the traditional barriers because what generally overwhelms women workers comes from their own doubt and fears. Companies should come up with policies which are woman friendly because uh, women have to take care of multiple things at a time. They are great multitaskers. They have to take care of the household, they have to take care of the kids, they have to take care of the job. And this multitasking is not easy to maintain a strike, a balance between your work life and your personal life. So uh, if companies a little bit consider it and come up, come up with flexible working hours or flexible leave policies for women, I believe that would be very helpful in the long run and it reduce the number of attrition and reduce the attrition for the number of female employees. One way is for companies to encourage young women to consider technical careers. If young women can start their IT career earlier, it's also easier and faster for them to build their confidence and their technical expertise. Additionally, events like this, the International Women's Day, is a big proponent in promoting awareness and also encouraging female employees all over the world to take time and celebrate their own milestones. So one of the best things I found in Stephanie Nio leaders that are always there to understand you uh, and support you wherever you need support. They are ready to guide you, mentor you and uh, this is one of the things best works for me. So whenever you find some difficulty, you can always go to your leadership team to have your issues discussed. They are very open to listen your listen to your concerns, your issues. And that's a wonderful thing I found in Stephanie and the support. Companies really can uh, embrace and be intentional about diversity and whether it's promoting within the company and sponsoring, uh, providing mentors and recruiting and be intentional about that recruiting process to uh, provide career pathing for women so that they're able to um, progress within the company. Well, companies can definitely address this issue by continuing to have diversity policies which will bring awareness on gender equality issues and having the right representation, especially on leadership roles and creating that, space, that safe space for women. We could encourage team members to share feedback, can help executive understand what is taking place below service. How surveys, for instance, provided the uh, essential insights for informed and mindful decision making. 
I think everybody is valued here at Stefanini, regardless of age, sex, or any other factors. If you take a look at our leadership team, you can see that there are a large number of women on our leadership team. And that's evidence that we take into account experience, talent, and other merits in order for you to take on a position. And I think that is what keeps people here at Stefanini too, is the fact that we value people for who they are.